Okay, this is going to be another try at making the rosary video. As you can see, I've been making these plastic rosaries, and I've just decided to rearrange how I hold my camera. Now, I am going to take this piece of wire and a brand new bit of cord. Here we go and the tool that I use. I think you can probably see that pretty well. Okay, there's a, a little channel down the center of the tool that helps when tying knots. Okay, so let's see, I'm going to put this piece of wire on one end so that I can thread it through the beads and things easily. And I'm going to take the other end and make the first knot. I make it about three inches long, somewhere in that area, and I fold it across the tool, and I come around one, two, three, four, five, six. I like to go six times around, and each time I wrap, I come closer and closer to the handle. Now, I take the wire with the string attached to it and I pass it from the handle end through to the tip end and pull the string through, or cord, until I'm all the way through. There we go. Now I hold on to the knot and pull the tool away. Now I take the end of the string, the short end, and the long end, and pull it slowly into this nice, beautiful, tight knot. Now the next thing I would do is add my Hail Mary beads. I put ten on here, and then I put on a different kind of bead, which will be the Our Father bead, and I switch between the Hail Marys to the Our Fathers until I have one decade, two decades, three decades, four decades, five decades. Now, I do not put another Hail Mary on here, Our Father bead on here because it's time for another knot. So I put the tool holding the beads on one side, put my thumb over it to hold it in place, and I go one, two, three, four, see I'm coming closer, five, closer, six, closer. Okay, now, again, I take the, whoops, <laughs> I have the, uh, the wire on the other string. Let me switch it to the one I'm using because I get a little bit of a hard time getting the string through without having the wire in my hand. So this is my way of getting it done faster. I put the wire on there and come from the handle end to the tip and pull that cord through just like that. And I'm going to keep that knot as close to the beads as I can. And wiggle the tool out. Now hold on to the knot this time, very gently keeping it close to the beads as I pull on the long end of the string. And that's about as pretty as the other end. Let's see. Yep, they're both pretty good. Alright. Now I need a center metal because I have five decades on here and I'm taking this plastic center metal. On one side it has a picture of Jesus, on the other side it has a picture of Mary and I'm putting this through the top hole on the Mary side and through the bottom hole on the Jesus side. Okay, that's my short end from the beginning knot. 
Now on the front side again, I go through the other top hole, because there's two of them, and I pull the string tight. I'm going to flip it over, and I like to just go under this other string instead of through the hole with both because I think it hangs nicer. You can go through the hole with both strings if you want to. Either way will work. And so there I have it crossed in the back and I have the same amount of string on either side of the plastic. That makes it nice. Now it's time for another knot. So I take my tool and I hold the center metal to one side. I have both pieces of string crossing the tool, and I will go around with just the long one. One, two, three, four, five, six times. Now keep the short piece out of the way, just ignore it, and again you go towards the handle end of the tool and you go through the channel with the wire and pull the cord on through at the tip. Hold on to the knot nice and close to the center metal. Remove the tool. I keep on holding on to the knot as you pull on the long, long piece of the string. And it's nice and tight now. Okay. Now the last thing we need is the finishing beads and the crucifix. So we need where's the bead hole? There it is. One, our father. One. Two. Three Hail Marys. And the last Our Father bead. Where's the hole? Okay, there we go. And we'll pull them on down to the knot next to the center metal. And now I need the crucifix. And it's got one hole in the top, which I'll go through. And bring the string on up and leave about an inch, about an inch there, maybe an inch and a half between the beads and the crucifix. I put my tool in between and I have the crucifix in my left hand. I'm sorry, in my right hand. You might be right handed, I'm left handed, so this is the way I do it. Anyway, I'm going to be working the knot towards the crucifix this time. Two, three, four, five, six. And see how I pulled the beads out of the way each time instead of letting it get tangled. Now again, I start at the handle end of my tool and go through the channel towards the tip. Pull that cord all the way through. Don't let it make a knot yet. Go on. It's not supposed to make a knot there. How did that happen? I was being careful. Well, let's see if I can get that to come apart. Come on. It's a slip knot. It'll come apart. I'll use. Well, <laughs> it's going to go through here. I know it will. I'll push it through. Come on. All the way through. Doggone. I would have to run into something like this. This never happens. Okay. I'm going to play with it. And maybe I need to talk to Mary, the untangler of knots, and say, please help me with this because it's ruining my video. What not to do with knots. There we go. I got it loose. 
my looser. Yeah, it's all done. Okay. Now I can pull this one through all the way. There we go. Yay. Hold on to the knot. Remove the tool. Hold on to the crucifix and the knot. And pull the long piece. Now pull both pieces until it's nice and snug. Okay. Now if you have any difficulty getting it tight, the needle nose pliers are your friend. They pull tight. Some of us have a little arthritis. That works out okay if we have needle nose pliers on hand. Okay, now since I know that I have five decades with four Our Fathers on there, I have a center metal, nice tight knots, with one Our Father, three Hail Marys, and the last sixth Our Father all together, another good strong knot with the crucifix. It's all checked out. I've, I've counted my beads and I very carefully trim that excess string off of here and then very carefully trim this excess string off. Now if you want to, you can put a little dot of any brand of clear drying glue. I have Elmer's which I never use on these because I tie them really tight without it. So anyway, there's a finished rosary and that will go to missions along with these other ones. Some of them go to a nursing home and some of them go to get mailed overseas if they're requested. And I've got plenty more stuff along with my other art supplies, making little Mary and baby Jesus things from plaster. Um, that's it for today. Let's